Andrew Moriongi was a man determined to leave the glamour and flair of working in the media industry and turn frustrations he encountered in the construction sector to a business opportunity. So when I looked at in totality, it was, it was almost 25% 20, of um, the roofing cost. So we, then I'm, I'm wondering how many people are going through the same thing. This is one of the items. In terms of control, I cannot even be able to quantify if what I bought is what was used. There are those challenges where you, get you, you find that you're losing also um, material from the site. After leaving his prestigious job as a business executive, Muriongi brought together his savings, sold most of his assets and accumulated enough money to set up Rhino Mabati factory. I worked in an environment where there's an urgency of uh, executions. So in my mind also, I'm sitting down and saying, I always want to start something which will run for many years. Here I'm implementing very urgent things every day, but I have my ideas which are still waiting. I just keep on pushing the dream, keep on pushing it every day. His company now has more than 10 employees and has the capacity to produce 50,000 meters of corrugated iron sheets monthly. According to him, however, this is just the beginning of what he believes will be an empire offering housing solutions. By the time most of people go into shopping for roofing material, they already know what they want. So he'll send us and say, this is what we have. So what we'll give them is options, say we have this option, the color, these colors, but say more above that, eh, we are able to deliver to you within 48 exact, exactly 48 hours after you place your order. Even as he deliberates on his expansion plans, his advice to young entrepreneurs is that they will need to be innovative as they venture into the world of business. Salome Muirori, Switch TV.